Ida Shalawam. Uh, first and foremost, I'm give her all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. And I'd like to give our double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to your brothers out there, laboring in truth <coughs> and in sincerity. Okay. Now, um, pretty much, I uh, just uh, just gonna touch briefly on our Matthew's the the thirteenth chapter. Um, my main focus is gonna be on our uh, <coughs> on the uh, the uh, the parable of the of the of the sowers. Okay. But um, you know, the whole the whole book of the Matthew's is a uh, Salakim, the whole book of Matthew is a very good book, okay, because uh, the words, the words themselves come from Yahweh Shai, man, okay, on uh, how not everybody is called into this thing, man, okay, not everyone is, is supposed to be, not everyone is, is, a, is a part of it, man, okay, because uh, there's, there's certain men that the Heavenly Father uh, set up this thing, they are the ones that are the ones that are gonna take hold of this truth, man, and do what they're supposed to do, man. Okay, and everybody else really is uh it's not it's not really what they can do, or it's not really what they can do. It's more it's it's really whether they were chosen or not meant to become a part of this thing or not, man. Because um uh, <clears throat> a lot of the times, like uh, last week, last or well, a couple of days ago, or over at camp. There was a guy that came over to the camp. He stood there for 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 a long time, okay, listening, and uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, and the brothers were speaking to him and everything else. And uh, he mentioned how you know he's known about this thing for many years now, man. Okay, but if you look at the guy, man, <clears throat> his beard, he hasn't got a beard on his face, okay. And uh, really, man, you know, as far as uh, as far as crossing that line and becoming a part of this thing, okay, and doing what he's supposed to do, man. The spirit is not really on him to do so man okay and uh you know he, he's asking questions and when brothers are giving him the answer to the questions man he's looking around looking at women and uh you know you know his, his heart is really no he's not he's really no into this thing man okay but he knows he knows with the israelites he knows what we do <clears throat> he's, been, he's been known for years and uh pretty much uh there's a lot of guys that are like that man okay there's many many people Many people, men, women out there, man, many Israelites that know about this thing. They know everything that's going on. But as far as uh, them truly taking hold of this truth, man, okay, it's uh, it's not in them to do so, man. Okay, that's why that's why like um, I decided to go into the parable of the of the different souls. All right, but I'm gonna read uh, from the from the uh, from the top. Okay, I'll read uh, from Matthew 13 and one, and it says. <clears throat> The same day when Jehovah shy out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes of great, great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Okay, now so because uh, the fame of Jehovah shy has pretty much gone up through uh, throughout all Israel, man. Okay, the miracles that he was doing and so on and so forth, man. So people wanted to hear him, wanted to hear him speak, man, to see what he was saying. All right. <clears throat> and he says, uh, verse 13 and 3, and he says, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a, a sower went forth. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm not gonna read the parable from uh from the fourth verse. Okay, I'm gonna read it on the winner when Yahweh shall broke it down, man. But first of all, I'm gonna start from the tenth verse, man. This is uh <clears throat> Matthew 13 and 10. It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in, par in parables, man? So now remember, this is the this is the uh, the disciples asking Yahweh Shai about the, the uh, that multitude of people that came to listen to him, okay? Because you know you know what the word teach about Yahweh Shai, man, saying uh, he came for all people and so on and so forth, man. But when the great multitude of, the, of people came unto him, this is what he said to the disciples. Uh, verse ten again said, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them? <clears throat> in parables man okay and uh because the parable when somebody breaks down it gives you a parable man it's up uh, it's you know it's, it's it's very hard to understand what they mean until they break it down for you man okay then you get it 
okay uh, verse 13 because even the disciples themselves they, they did not even understand the parables meant by Yahweh broke it down for them man okay secretly he always turned around and broke it down what he meant to the disciples to the disciples okay but the multitude is just getting the parables man okay left them scratching their heads pretty much <clears throat> verse 11 and verse 11 and he says he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given man okay so that was yeah how share his words when he said that to that great multitude of people it's not given for them to understand the kingdom of the mysteries of heaven man and that was straight to the point because those are the uh, those were uh, words of Yahweh Shai man saying that the, you know a lot of people it's not given to understand these things but it's, it's only given to uh, to those few that Yahweh Shai has taken to himself man okay which at this point it began with the apostles and then it was given to the rest of the elect man all right uh <clears throat> let me get Amos because uh the scriptures really man you know in truth man they're not really for everybody okay not everyone as much as anyone can can go buy can, can go and buy a bible and open and read the understanding of the scriptures man is not really for everyone man okay it's given to the elect it's given to the prophets man uh <clears throat> this is uh, amos 3 and 7 it says that uh, surely our power will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto unto his servant the prophets man so even at that point of time, even even the very fact that the very existence of Yahweh Shai walking on the earth, despite all the miracles that he did, despite all the miracles that he did um, in the presence of the people, only a few people truly believed that uh, he was the uh, the anointed Messiah, man. Okay, for a long for all the all the <clears throat> on that time period, not not there there hasn't been anybody that had come, walked on the planet Earth and did the things that Yahweh Shai had done. All right, but even though even with that alone, man, um, <clears throat> a lot of people did not believe who he was, man. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so you know, but you know, but the Lord says, uh, the secrets, the secrets of the mysteries, are only given to uh to the to uh, to, 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 uh, to them, and who he was talking to the apostles, uh, apostles at that time. Okay, in Amos three and seven, it says, uh, you know, the Lord reveals reveals his secrets to the to the to, uh, to the servants, the prophets, man. Okay. Um, and uh, <clears throat> verse 2, I'll continue on Matthew 13 and 12, and it says, uh, For whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have have more abundance. For okay, so they later going to be given, it's going to be given to them more abundance, man. Okay, they're going to give, um, I believe there's a there's a precept that says, um, uh, <clears throat> that the Lord reveals, reveals his whole counsel unto Jacob, man. Okay, his whole counsel. Okay. And this time it's only the elect really man okay he says but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that which he hath which he hath man, which he hath okay because many guys many guys have come have came through they've listened okay they've taken notes and so on and so forth man but they've never really uh, they've never really moved on from that from that position that they've been man they've never uh, made any steps forward they've never grown okay but eventually man it's gonna be known if they're not all the elect because the heavenly father is going to take even the even the little that they have even the little that they have man okay verse 13 and says therefore speak i to them in parables because they they see not see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand in them is fulfilled the, the prophecy of Isaiah, who saith, by hearing he shall hear and shall not understand and seeing he shall see and shall not perceive man because um because uh you know they, because you know they are uh, the heavenly father sent an angel to come down man, and, and blind the understanding man all right let me get uh it's an uh, isaiah the sixth chapter but i'll get it from uh from romans uh the tenth chapter is romans 11 i think it's romans 11 Okay, because uh, Paul explains the situation. Let me let me just double check to make sure. Uh, yeah, how I did not explain. Prophecy of that. Yeah, because uh, yeah, how I pretty much quoted the same uh, the same precept as Paul. That Paul uh, quoted many in a uh, in a book of uh, Isaiah. Uh, let me just quickly get uh, <clears throat> exactly where it is.
okay size so six and nine okay i'm gonna read it from uh, uh the explanation which paul gave in the romans 11 and 7 chapter okay it's romans 11 and 7 it says what then israel have not obtained that which is seeking for okay because israel man they, they you know in their spirit man whether they know it or not when they're looking they look at the seeking for, for for understanding man okay they're seeking for the for uh for insight for understanding of why they're, they're in the condition that they're in okay who they are as a people all right that's why israel you find a lot of israelites when they get into all kinds of different uh different types of religions to not find themselves men to not find comfort men to not, for their spirit to settle down but reality is man the truth is that that uh, that the israelites men okay they go back to this to the to the biblical israelites <coughs> But you know, uh, but the heavenly Father has blinded them from from getting that information, and has only revealed it to a few people. All right, and he says that what then Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect have obtained the understanding, man. Okay, and the rest were blinded, man. Okay, verse eight it says, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they have not see, and ears that they should not hear. On to this day so it's the heavenly father that's done that to them man. okay so it's not the fact that it's not it's not them because if it was up to the heavenly father all israel would all israel would would, would have their understand of all israel would get their understanding to them and by you know by a click of a finger man but the heavenly father has set up has set this thing up to be done a different way okay it's not for it's not for uh it's not for them just when we left uh when we left egypt it was for the masses the all israel left out of egypt by this time only a few people is only only for a few, a few people are gonna get this man okay i'm gonna i'm gonna get this word that's uh, gonna lead to their salvation man and then the rest of israel is gonna come back a different way okay it says uh it again says, according as it is written uh the most i have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day man all right so it's the heavenly father man that's blinded their ears man okay whether the uh whether they want to or not man okay uh, let's go back to matthew uh, 13. all right <clears throat> it's a uh, matthew 13 and uh uh Right, Matthew 13 and 14 it says and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah which saith by hearing he shall hear and shall not understand and seeing he shall see and shall not perceive men okay for this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing men and their eyes there <clears throat> and the eyes they have closed men okay it's not physically closed but spiritually closed all right because this uh if you, if you speak about today's uh today when they see the prophets uh, every weekend on the, on the highways and the byways and they see the prophets on the internet so on and so forth man, but their eyes are closed man their ears the ears the heavenly father are shut are shut so that they don't they don't truly grasp grasp what's going on man okay continue on it says lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their with their ears and should understand with their heart I should be converted i should heal and i should heal them and the people that are gonna they're gonna understand are gonna understand with their heart is the elect man okay and that they are the ones whom the heavenly father is gonna heal okay as far as everybody else <coughs> as far as everybody else man the lord's as the lord is shutting them out until the kingdom man okay they're not gonna get it on this uh, on this time period man and we hope we hope okay even i myself i hope that i'm a part of this of this uh of this group whom the heavenly father is, is uh, giving the understanding onto the end man okay uh let me just make sure it's recording <clears throat> uh let's continue on this is matthew 13 and 16 it says blessed are your eyes for the for they see and your ears for the human and uh you know this 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 and this this one thing is that should uh, ever make you more humble Okay, when when you when the heavenly father has gave you the understanding because you get guys man that uh that wanna get over get ahead of themselves man okay they you know they remember a few precepts <clears throat> uh more than another brother and all of a sudden they think they're now they're now above everybody else man they get proud okay you know they still they, they become completely out of order man we, we go guys like that who were in our camp who did who did things like that man 
all right <clears throat> okay this you know is 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 really just just uh, just the fact that we understand and we're growing okay regardless of our position in the camp and this you know you know if we need to consider ourselves blessed man okay the very fact that the lord have called us into this thing man we need to consider ourselves blessed man okay because don't be surprised man if there's millions and millions of israelites of jack out there that have heard of this truth man okay because i believe it's you know it could be the, like at this time period man <clears throat> the people that have heard this truth man is in the millions man okay because scripture says what man many are called but few are chosen okay so uh, me, I mean, you can just imagine the amount of people that walk by camps every week man for all those many years okay the amount of views that they these all these different views all these different get, videos get all right it's definitely in the millions man but only a few really take hold of this truth man okay he says but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear man okay and that's why some of us have taken hold uh, of this thing man and have joined up camp and taken up ranks man okay regardless of what position that we're in man, holding signs or whatever man okay because you know the heavenly father has put the spirit in our hearts for us to believe okay and we know for a fact is here through the spirit that everything we're doing we're not doing it in vain <clears throat> verse 17 it says for verily i say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and do hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them man. okay you know all these are uh, the, the ancient prophets and righteous men are all are really all back here today now man okay so now we're just really on the on the final phase okay of our of uh, this of this work that began long time ago okay from the prophets all the way till now <clears throat> all right uh this is my uh, verse 18 it says he he hear ye therefore the parable <clears throat> the parable of the soul <clears throat> all right this now yeah how shall i break it down for, for us man okay this is uh, matthew uh, 13 and 19 it says uh when anyone hear of the word of the kingdom and understanding if and uh, understand it understandeth understandeth it not then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart this is he which received seed by the wayside man all right and you, there's there's literally thousands and thousands of people that have fallen victim onto this on this thing man okay people that have clicked on the video they sat there for a while they sat there for a while watched the video you know they thought to themselves you know these guys could be right but for whatever reason is it they clicked on, a, on another video maybe it might be a, a some new song that somebody pop, put out out there or some hip-hop dance and then all of a sudden is it uh <clears throat> everything that they were watching in that previous that a defined video which they were watching man completely goes out their mind man okay you see guys come to camp they come with a friend they'll sit there for a while listening and then all of a sudden his friend will grab him a friend his friend who's uh <clears throat> who, who uh who, who's not interested uh, in what they are what they what, what the men are, are teaching grabs you and walk away you know just that's the, just just it's just as simple it's just that simple uh for the uh to fulfill this scripture which says then come with the wicked one and catch up away that which is sown in his heart man you could be listening to the brother speaking and your phone rings but you know you decide your phone is that phone call is more important man <clears throat> could be from your boss your mother okay your wife or whatever man and just just like that man you know you you get drawn away you get taken away man from uh from the understanding for this great understanding that you could have gotten man okay uh he says this is he which received uh seed by the wayside man continue verse 20 it says uh but he that received the seed into stony places the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it okay so these guys uh that that that, uh, that come through they receive the word man, and they're happy about it man okay they, they might even take start taking part when start taking part okay they start holding signs or whatever man verse 21 and says that he that is uh yet he yet have he not root in himself but joy for a while because he wasn't growing in this truth man okay he goes stagnant man okay week after week he's still on the same level month after month he's still on the same level year after year he's still on the same level man he's, he's not going anywhere man okay <clears throat> the scriptures these scriptures are supposed to be like living water man okay they you know they move living water moves man okay living water has life in it <laughs> you're supposed to grow in this thing man okay it says that uh, for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word by and by he is offended man 
all right because you know because simply you know if you're not going at this thing man you simply know you don't you do not have too much uh, faith in it man you don't believe in it too much that's why you're not really putting your heart uh you, you're not really putting your heart into this thing too much to, uh, for studying okay to uh to to get more understanding man okay because certain brothers man certain brothers man they'll, they'll get this thing and as soon as the certain brothers saying brothers as soon as they hear this word man they'll put everything that they have aside and then they'll, that's that's all they'll put all their heart and effort into this thing all right and that tribulation and persecution is coming to this uh to, uh, to the men that believe in this thing so you can imagine a guy that barely had any faith into uh, in you know you know he's only an israelite for those uh, three or four hours at the camp but the rest of the rest of the other six days or the rest of uh, the rest of the other six days man it's just it's just the same guy in the world man okay so you can just imagine a guy like that when the persecution comes okay you a guy like that would never die for the word man would never put uh put his life for the word man okay for yahweh shai yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right uh because persecution is coming man. let me get that is uh matthew 24 and 8 it says uh all these are the beginning of sorrows then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and it shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake man okay so for the for the for the for the, uh, for, 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 for this truth segment uh, we're gonna be hated even too even right now man for many unbelievers man we are hated in the world in the world man okay uh, family members who turn your uh, turn their backs on us okay so you can imagine a guy that that hasn't been grown in this thing man uh, who's not taken root into this thing man you know when that time comes man they won't know what to do man they'll simply just deny the you deny your shy man okay and it says verse 10 it says uh and then shall and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another man shallow guys are going to be offended to hide away because uh, another example is uh when that uh the rep talk to the rep doctrine came around man okay a lot of guys even as much as it was in the, in the scriptures and god broke it down to the point that a people could, uh, could understand a lot of guys they don't want to be asso associated with the men and simply just uh they simply just uh you know just uh separated themselves from gms okay they went their own way somewhere else okay that was just simply uh that was a stumbling block a stumbling block that the lord put on you man okay Cause there are many many stumbling blocks when there are this uh this parable of the souls is just simply uh the stumbling blocks uh on different levels man okay you get uh the stumbling block from the first uh, uh from the uh uh let me get that you get up uh, you, you know your house i just simply broke it down as uh the different souls man but really it's just different stumbling blocks man okay different uh ways into what uh, into how a guy can get trapped and fall uh, and fall away from the kingdom man okay because this thing the kingdom is a uh, is a is a narrow path okay so there's many when uh i believe i got that precept somewhere let me find it yeah this is matthew 17 and 13 it says enter ye at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction man okay so there's many different forms or ways other ways that you can go to aside from the right path and the all lead to destruction man and it's and it says what and many there be which go in their heart man so there's a lot of people man that are gonna go astray from the actual understanding of this trophy all right and uh going back to matthews uh, 13 and uh uh, from 20 and he says uh but he that received the seed into stony places the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receive it yet he have not root in himself but joy for a while but when tribulation and persecution ariseth because of the word by and by is he offended man okay and right now i mean the persecution is very light it's nothing but just persecution from our uh from our scoffers and so on men who are putting our videos to demonize us but when Esau starts rolling over on us man okay that's when i you know a lot of uh a lot of a lot of guys are gonna be shaken up in their faith man okay so uh, you know you know you got you know you gotta hope to the heavenly father man that you're among the you're among the men who is gonna keep in that time period man okay uh verse 22 he says that he also that received seed among the thorns is he that hear of the word hear with the word and the care of the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it becometh unfruitful man 
a lot of, that's why you say a lot of these guys they want to do their own thing man, because they are deceived by the by, by riches of the world man okay because uh, they want to they want to make a name from themselves make money okay they want to mix the uh, the things of the world with this truth man they're doing break dances okay they're doing all you know uh, go fund me and so on and so forth man. so the deceitfulness of riches of this world man is choking the truth man they're becoming unfruitful man okay that's why if slowly but surely the lord is always taking something away from them man all right because uh what is uh what did uh saint john say let's uh get uh because this truth this truth and uh, this truth has nothing to do with the world this truth is complete even though we are in the world we are separated from the world man okay matter of fact let me get uh Even though we are in the world, man, we are separated from the world, man. Okay, we're not a part of the world, man. All right. Uh, this are uh, First John two and fourteen. Matter of fact. Okay. You know, maybe. Uh, all right. This is uh, St. John 2 and 15, and it says, uh, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And, okay. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Okay. And the world passeth away, the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Man. So the, 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 this truth and the world men are completely separate from me, from, uh, from each other. Man. You know, they don't go along together. So you can't take things that you like of the world men and try to mix it with this truth to get a name for yourself. It doesn't work together, man. All right. <clears throat> Uh, it says, uh, Matthew uh, 13 and 22, say, He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care and the care of this world. Some guys may just simply have a good job in the world and ju on just on that alone, man. Because uh, cause, uh, sometimes they might not want to lose their job just for this truth, man. They, you know, it might be a good paying job, all right? Uh, so now they think, of oh, course, you know, but sometimes they might have to work Saturdays. But you know knowing for you knowing if you leave that job you gotta you'll be downgraded you'll be downgrading all right so you know so just with that alone man some guys man who don't want to leave their job for this truth man okay that's the care of the world man okay you might be almost be getting a promotion maybe some people just simply had a good life man because a lot of, a lot of people a lot of guys in this truth man uh they come they come from a hard time in the in being in the world man because we have curses upon us but some guys may simply maybe they just simply had a good life in the world, man. All right, but sacrificing that good life for 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 Yahawashai, man. You know, it's a uh, you know it's, it's a hard thing for them to do. That's why uh, Yahawashai uh, gave the example of the uh, the rich man uh, when he told uh, when Yahushai, when he said, uh, "I've kept the law. What else can I do? I've kept the law. What else can I do to obtain a uh, internal life, man?" What did Yahushai say? Uh, give all you have and give to, sell all you have and give to the poor. Okay, that was the, that was an that was the ultimate test for that guy, man. And uh, you know, he walked away sad, man. He didn't want to do it, man. Okay, was you know he was living good. All right. Uh, you know, some guy, you know, it's just, it's just different different things, man. Okay, that you know, see when you when you when you re, when you when you hear about this truth, man. Uh, the 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 one thing that you're supposed to do, man, is drop everything that you have and follow your house, shy, man. All right. Uh, the example you have is uh, is the disciples. Yahusha simply w w walked up to them <clears throat> and he said, "Follow me, follow me." And they left everything that they were doing and followed after him. Man. Uh, matter of fact, let me let's see.
Because you got to have faith, man, in this thing, man. You got to have, have faith that the Heavenly Father is going to restore. All right? You need to believe. Because this word, man, this word, everything of this word, man, is going to be done away with, man. Uh, this is uh, Matthew uh, 10 and 28, and it says, uh, Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. All right, so they left everything that they had even left. They left wives and everything else, man, to follow after Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, they left their father, okay, whatever business that they were into. I think it was uh, uh, fishing. Okay, they left all that, man, and followed after Yahweh Shai, man. And 29 says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said, Beverly, I say unto you, there is no man that have left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels all right see see that thing there and the gospels all right but he shall receive an hundred but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time now in this time and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the world to come eternal life men but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first men and reality is men the, the people that are the people are the men that Yahweh called men they are gonna be the, the forefathers of the rest of Israel men all right they're the ones that are gonna be uh, the heads of Israel and they're gonna be the fathers of the rest of Israel, all right. Uh, you know, let me let me go back to this real quick. <coughs> uh, back to Matthew 13 and 23, and it says, uh, uh, verse 23, and it says, uh, But he that receiveth the seed into the ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, understandeth it which also beareth fruit. And bringeth forth some, some, some an hundred, some sixty, some thirty men. Let me read that again, Bob Kasha Salakia. Uh, Matthew 13 and 23 and says, But he that received seed into the ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bringeth forth some an hundred, some sixty, some thirty men. So you understand the truth and you take hold of that truth, man. All right, and you know you start to bear fruit, man, because you 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 grow in this thing. You're rooted, okay. Uh, let me get uh, collations. Uh, it's a uh, collections two and six, and it says, "As ye as ye." Therefore, have received Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. And, okay, says so rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as he have been taught and abounding therein with thanksgiving. And so you know you meant supposed to you supposed to take hold of this thing, okay? And uh, pretty much you know you you know you get grounded, man. You okay, you take hold of it, you get grounded and you get built up, man, in the knowledge, man. All right. Uh, this uh Second Peter's. 3 and 17 it says ye therefore beloved seeing you know these things before beware lest is lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own state fat, uh, fastness okay just like the uh just like uh, the rest of uh, the examples the examples we had okay in the different uh so in the different uh the different uh sowers men all right it says but grow in grace and in knowledge of our lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashayak, to him be glory, glory both now and forever. Amen. Man. All right. Um, I think that was it on that. Uh, all right. I think uh, that's that's pretty much uh, you know all I wanted to cover. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, all right. I'm just gonna close it on that. Okay. I'm trying to keep my videos as short as possible so that uh, they don't go on for too long all right so with that i'm gonna say shalom